good morning i am samanthe hevage so this is my third uh, uh, video so last video we have discussed the software we started to discuss the software area right the app operating system area so i will uh, i will uh, start from where i have stopped so yeah so this is regarding uh, we have done a uh, software the definition of the software i said the software is not just a computer program it's it's a documents it's it's a programs right it's a program software is a programs plus documents documents means user manual system documents and something like that right now we will go in detail and we will discuss the uh, further right software is in uh, software there are two categories of software right so one is system software right other one is application software first of all we will check what is this system software system software is a computer software designed to operate and control the computer hardware and to provide the platform to run in the application software System software can be separated into the two different categories, operating system and the utility software. Yeah, what's the system software? What they say is, they are saying that computer software designed to operate and control the computer hardware. Uh, computer hardware, they are going to operate and control, right? So, this computer hardware controlled by whom? System software okay and another one and to provide a platform to run in application software ah, what is the application software the software which is specifically used for some certain tasks for example word processing system we use ms word something like that the database management system we use access something like that uh, spreadsheet we use excel something like that that is very specifically uh, used for some certain tasks that is called application software in order to run the application software in your computer there should be a platform right that platform will be made by system software so what is about system software then the system software is the software which is control operate and control all the hardware input output devices or the peripheral devices as well as it provide the platform to install and run the application software because under under on the top of the operating system on the top of the system software the application software are running it's like this right i'll i'll show the diagram right here like this this is hardware assume that this is the hardware right this is hardware and here we have system software right system software right so system software so hardware you know hardware alone is useless right hardware alone is useless right hardware alone is useless. that means hardware uh, what what are, what do you mean by hardware hardware are the tangible things where you can touch and feel or the hardware computer hardware is a physical component of the computer system that you can touch and feel so if you think about the hardware alone does it use no it's not useless it, it's useless without a op system without the operating system hardware is useless for example when you go and buy a laptop right when you go and buy a laptop from uh, unity plus or somewhere right any boutique so when you uh, if that particular laptop or desktop right not installed in the operating system can you use it no it's just a it's a, just a metal then right so how you are going to how you are going to work how you are going to get the benefit of or the, how you are going to use those hardware resources to your uh, business you are you are you need to install the operating system so after installing the operating system or the system software right basically you will get utilize of these hardware resources right okay 
So, when you buy a laptop from the Unity Plaza without operating system, can you use it? No, you can't use it. It's a useless. It's a hard day only. So, then you have to install the Windows or whatever the operating system, Linux or Red Hat or uh, Macintosh, whatever the operating system you have to install. After installing the operating system only, now on keyboard is start to work. Web camera is start to work. Keyboard, mouse, hard disk is start to work. The network drive, the network uh, interface card is start to work. So now all the hardware resources are, you know, starting to work. On the top of the system software, you have to install what? Application software. Then only, after that only, you are installed in what? Office packages, right? Office packages, Adobe packages, right? Adobe. So whatever the applications, Macromedia, whatever the... Uh, applications you can install after the even the gaming computer gaming computer game is also kind of application so it's all application are run on the top of the system software so this is the relationship between the hardware system software and the application software okay just to uh, you know recap your sessions these things students well known because you know most of the international students so they are they are going to classes and they are they have a lot of materials and even the you know, school teachers they they are teaching these sub so this is to you know recap those stuff i you know for uh, if if you have any misunderstanding places you can grab from these videos right from my videos okay i will uh, delete this and i will come to again the my this note okay Okay, now I think you have understand what is this system software very specifically, right? It's nothing but it's operate and control all the hardware devices as well as it manages what? It manage the, uh, it, it, it provide the platform to work to the application software, right? So that means to run the application software, it provide a platform. That's the main uh definition of the system software right okay the system software also also divided into two parts so it's like this no software right software then software it comes here yes and say system software here you will have application software right application software so again system software you will be categorized as operating system and utility programs this is operating system right this is operating system so i have discussed this i have i uh, yeah for my uh, this i have discussed this and i have discussed this and now i am coming to here this too okay right i think you can understand here application software again so here what is the application software? Application software is the software which is specifically used for some certain tasks. For example, word processing. Word processing applications. Or presentations. Next one, uh, spreadsheet. That's a data, database, database management system. Database management system. So word processing, for example, you have MS Word in a Windows environment. Presentation, we have a PowerPoint. Spreadsheet, we have a Excel. Database, we have Access. Something like that. Right? Okay. Right. Okay, this is okay. Right. Now we will... Uh, right. Uh, okay, I will keep this right. Hello. Right. Uh, 
okay so we have stop here uh, utility utility programs yes now i will come to here i will clear this we will uh, what is this operating system all about the operating system is a software that manages the computer hardware okay it manages the computer hardware and software resources even software resources okay and provide the common services to the computer programs right the operating system is an external com ex essential component of the system software in a computer system application programs usually require an operating system to function yes right so what what does it mean it actually means operating system right operating system is a hardware here hardware means what we have input input and output right so here we have operating system it manage right manage operating system manage hardware even the software software resources right and provide platform to run application programs right and operating system overall operating system is control and manage input devices control and manage output devices control storage devices control applications control windows update whatever the security patches right the you, uh, you know windows updates are coming every time the security patches when you are connected to the internet the security if you are having a license version even the track version sometimes the security security files are you know uh, downloading from the windows the microsoft servers right then operating system always they are they can they can they are trying to manage the os smoothly right so whatever the commands instructions are given to these input and output devices in order to control the system uh, physical component of the system and the, even the application software so that's the main role of the operating system so we will we will look at what are the main function of the operating system then you will understand what kind of a job role is done by the operating system to as a you know in a computer term right so there are main main job role which is provided by the operating system to you know to work as a computer right okay now we will learn those to topics right okay now uh, i before i come to the operating system i will go go directly to the functions of the operating system so this is very uh, low level definition in this suit but i am going to uh, I am going to teach you in a uh, sophisticated way main function of the operating system right main function of the operating system main functions what are the key roles or the key roles we can say key roles key roles of the operating system first one you can say first key role provides an interface to user for interacting interacting with the computer right this is the this is the one of the function 
in operating system. I have discussed these interfaces, right? I said that graphical user interface, command line interface, CLI interface, or menu driven interface. Basically, graphical user interfaces and command line interfaces are purely, uh, mainly, which is focused to the computers, right? So, this is done by the operating system, nothing but operating system providing the user interfaces, graphical user interfaces, command line interfaces to interact, interact to the user with the computer. See, I am sitting here. This is, I have a laptop, right? So, how I am working? So, without this operating system, can I use my screen? No. Without this operating system, without this graphical user interface, can I go and open the, this video screen and, you know, YouTube channel and whatever the software, can I use it? No, I can't use it. So, that's why the, who, who is providing the interface? The yeah, operating system, operating system gives me a, a interface. Okay, if you want to use this computer, you come and bridge, bridge using these interfaces. That's the understanding about the user interfaces. Okay, second one. Operating system provides, right? Operating system provides what? Operating system provides. Hello? 